Okay, in this presentation, I'm just going to follow on from something I did previously. I used the diamonds dataset, which is in the ggplot2 R package. And what I did there is I used a random forest model to predict price, which is one of the variables in the diamonds dataset. And this model is called diamrf. Okay, it's actually not built on the full data set. It's not, I'm not using the full data set for it. I'm just using 10%. Uh, what I'm going to do here, what I have done previously and what I am going to do again is use some tidyverse packages. So for example, Tibble, Magritte, Dplyr and a couple of other things, uh, also Random Forest actually, are loaded up already. So I'm not going to load them up again. Well, actually, I would just actually remark that a lot of the commands I'm about to use in this video are from the Random Forest package. Okay, so I actually should mention that. So the first thing I'm going to do is just actually let's have a look at the model I fitted. So this is in my this is in my environment, this random forest model. And what I'm trying to do here is predict price by using all of the other variables. That that that's what this means essentially. Price explained by all of the other variables in the model. The dot is just a placeholder for saying all of the other variables. And again, I'm not using the full data set, I'm using a, a subset of the data set, about 10%. It is 10%, actually. I use the sample underscore frac function just to take out 10%. The variance explained is 97.05, uh, which is actually quite good. Now, what I'm going to do here is, you know, I'm going to look at variable importance. So of this... Of these variables here, which ones were important and which ones were not important. So let's see if I can get a clue as to what had happened there. So what I'm going to do here first off is look at diamonds. Well, diamonds one. I'll just actually use the precise data set I worked with. Here it is a table partly because it is I used dplyr to create this data set. So it seems to come out as a table. And here is price. And here are all the other variables. You notice there that we have ORD, which means ordered factor. Okay, so there's a sort of ranking there. Integers and doubles, the other numeric variables. Okay, now what I want to do is find out what was useful in predicting price when I was using random forest. So it's a little bit hard to tell. So what happens if you were using other things like, for example, LM models, linear models, you'd be able to use summary. Summary is not particularly good in this particular instance, not when you're working with random forest models, okay? Something actually I should do, actually, is actually just actually remark that this is, the class is a random forest model. So, summary is not particularly useful. So the command here is importance. So this will tell us a bit more. Now this is giving us definite answers, but it tells us which variables are important and which variables are not important. Okay, so you can sort of, in order of magnitude, increasing order of magnitude, they get more important. Cut is not important, or seemingly Y is very important. Now I certainly knew that already, but that that was going to be the case. But if you're not used to this, how do you know this sort of stuff? So. Also, I want to order it because it's just a sort of sequence of numbers there, and it's a little bit hard to read. So can we make this a little bit easier to follow? I mean, we have them all in alphabetical order there, which is grand, but do we want something better. So what I'm going to try and do is set it up as a tibble. So we'll just see if we can work with that. And the answer, well, actually, no, we can't because it, we lose a lot of the information about what variables. We could sort that, but we lose the information about what variables they refer to. So that's a bit of a dead end. So let's just actually sort of just check back in this. What I'm gonna do here is look at class, because this is not a data frame, this is a matrix. So we have to be a little bit, put a little bit of extra work in. So we want this in order. So let's try and find out the ordering. Let's use some base R. So what I'm gonna do here is check out the order. Now, actually what I'll do there is bring back the importance as well. So what does this tell us? Two, that is in order two, six, five. This is going from lowest to highest, the ordering of the variables in, in terms of importance. So two is the least important. Okay, cut, it's in position two. 
after that is table okay and then depth and so on seemingly the most important variables are in position one which is carrot and most important of all in position eight which is y okay so what i can do here is just try and reorder this in terms of order there's a, just as a remark there's another command that's similar to order that's called rank I'll just actually bring it up very briefly just to show you it but just so it's just in terms of rankings rather than ordering so it's useful to know about it's not useful here but just useful to know about I have it in the buffer there okay so what I'm going to do here is just see what I can do to there we go so what I'm going to do is actually, this it tells us in order going from least important to most important, and it gives us values there, okay, uh, which are the most important variables. So cut, table, and depth are the three least important, and then x, caret, and y are the most important, with y, of course, being the most important. Now, it's okay looking at these numbers and thinking, oh, that makes sense. Well, it does it? I don't know. The thing is actually, a bit of a visual compliment might really be helpful here okay so there is in the random forest r package there is a plot function available to you and it's called var imp plot variable importance plot just notice the position of the capital letters there okay it's called camel case so let's just run that now that is a little bit vague to look at so i'm just going to shut that down bring that back up and what I'm going to do here is just slightly add in some extra bits of code just to make it a little bit more readable. There we go. I just shut that down for a second so you can have a quick look at the code that I used to just improve it there. PCH equals 18. You could use 16, 17 or 18. Color equals red and CEX, which is the sort of character size, equals 1.5. Let's just run that again just so we can interpret the plot. Whoops, there we go. So you can sort of see here that y is most important, caret, x, and z. Cut, depth, table, color, clarity don't seem to be particularly important at all. So that's enough of that. We'll, we'll, I think I've said everything I need to say.